In my last assembly, I talked to you all about protecting your mental health. And since then, coronavirus has hit and brought with it the fear of you or your family contracting the virus, along with isolation, restriction, and uncertainty. Fear, worry, and stress are normal responses at this time. So it's become more important than ever to look after our mental health. Today, I'm going to talk to you about art therapy. Art therapy is a creative process to explore emotions, reduce anxiety, increase self-esteem and resolve our psychological conflicts. In today's isolated world, social media has become flooded with hashtag isolation creation, as many people are using their creativity to cope. My favourite artist is Frida Kahlo. She was a Mexican artist who expressed the pain and suffering of her life through her artwork. So powerful is her work that you can actually feel her emotions when viewing it. Around the age of six, Carlo contracted polio, which caused her to be bedridden for nine whole months. At the age of 20, Carlo was traveling on a bus when the vehicle collided with a car. Carlo was impaled by a steel handrail which went into her hip and came out the other side. She began painting during her recovery from her bed. Four years later, Carlo married a famed Mexican muralist, Diego Rivera. Carlo loved Diego immensely, and although their marriage was passionate, it caused her a lot of pain as her husband had many affairs, one of which was with her sister. Carlo wanted children and fell pregnant a number of times, but due to her injuries from the car accident, she would miscarry all of her pregnancies. Unable to cope with Rivera's affairs, in 1939, Carlo got a divorce, as you can see in this painting. She expresses her whole heart before marriage and the pain she suffered after she married. However, her divorce did not last long as Carlo could not get Diego out of her mind and they remarried a year later. Carlo had several surgeries and wore special corsets to try to fix her back. She would continue to seek a variety of treatments for her chronic physical pain with little success. This painting, called The Broken Column, shows Carlo split down the middle, revealing her spine and shattered decorative column. She wears a surgical brace and her skin is studded with nails. In 1953, part of Carlo's right leg was amputated to stop the spread of gangrene. In the same year, Carlo received her first solo exhibition in Mexico. Well bedridden at the time, Carlo did not miss out on the exhibition's opening, arriving by ambulance. Carlo spent the evening talking and celebrating from the comfort of a four-poster bed. About a week after her 47th birthday, Carlo died on July the 13th, 1954. Her work and her life story still speaks to the world today. And Frida Kahlo is classed as a world famous feminine icon. My art students like Frida Kahlo don't shy away from pain but produce their artwork to deal with it and help others understand that they are not alone. This piece is about mental illness and going through life, really. So when I was developing up to this piece, I looked at Kintsugi, which is this Japanese art of mending broken ceramics with gold or silver. And the concept behind it is that these pieces are more beautiful for having been broken. And I liked that idea and I wanted to apply it to the human psyche. And so in this, I'm looking at that same concept, but for us going through life. That everything that we go through, mental illness and whatever else, makes us more beautiful for having survived it. So this piece is based around cancer um, and death. And 
to me, it represents how much more alive you feel when you're close to death. So one of my loved ones went through cancer and getting the treatment, and it really meant a lot to me getting through those emotions through um, lots of different ways. Like the nails over here represent pain. The sequin represents like the gloriousness of life, and um, all the messiness of it is shown through the burning and the sewing and stuff. I hope that all of you can find a forum to express your feelings and to help you get through some of the struggles in life. Remember, you are not alone. Talk to someone.